In the My Designer screen, you can edit existing designers that you've created, or you can delete them. In addition, you can also create new ones. So let's go ahead and create a brand new one. I'm going to call this Designer 2.0 and click the green Add button. When I do this, the new designer will show up right here. And if I want to edit them, I can just click on the green Edit This Designer button. Now we're editing the details for the Designer 2.0. Here's the name field again, and we can update that accordingly. We can put in a website address. We can also uh, add a logo by clicking on the paperclip icon and selecting the file from our file system on our hard drive. All right, so I've added the logo now. Then I can enter in a contact email address. Then I have a couple of choices. Do I want to be notified via email when new, new sales occur? I'm going to set this to yes. Then there's the notify about discontinued parts in my games. So if a part becomes discontinued and it's in one of my games, I'll receive a notification via email about this. I'm going to leave that at yes. Next, I can go over to the financial section. And here you can see the designer rewards manufacturing discount. For more information about what this is, you can click the link here and it will take you to an information page. And basically it's a loyalty program where uh, it rewards designers that purchase or sell a lot of games. And it's based on the last 12 months in the system. You basically get a manufacturing discount as well as a royalty increase, which helps you make more money. You can read more about that on this page. We're going to go ahead and jump back. So um, you can see all of the different percentages here in this chart, and this will increase as you sell more and more. The last section is the associates area. Associates allow you to basically give uh, editing privileges to other users on the Game Crafter. And you can also share your profits with those users when games sell. So to start, just do a look up here in, the, in this white box and type in the user's username or the email address. You'll see a list of names that come up, select the one you want, and then you'll see they'll be added down below. Next, we can set the percentage of profit sharing that should occur when each game is sold. So we could set this to 50%. And then what will happen is, is every time a game is sold, they will get 50% of the profit. And the way you get paid is whatever is left over after paying the associates, will go to the user who controls this designer. So you'll get 50% and they'll get 